an Amazon update that people has been asking for for over the past couple years. Now, this particular update was recently pushed to certain Amazon devices. This update is gonna help your device run faster, it's gonna save up on your storage space, and most importantly, it's gonna save a lot of time compared to the way we normally do this. So this video, we're gonna jump into the details of the update, which devices we're seeing this push to, and also live demonstration of how to get this update and how to use it. So we're gonna jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So I am doing this from my Fire TV Cube third generation. Did try to update this on my Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but it wasn't yet available. So I'm guessing that they're rolling these out um, in a certain order, but I'll let you guys know when I receive it on that device. In the meantime, let me know what device you're on and if you're able to get this update. All right, so to check for updates, you're gonna go to your settings. And before I do any update, if I go to my apps, See my, my options right there. I have my manage install apps. I have the silk browser, I have the app store and auto offload. There should be an additional option if and when we get this update. So go to my fire TV, click on about, and we're gonna go, um, you can see there is already a update downloading. And um, you can see uh, my current version right there. It tells you what it's updating to. And we'll just give it a second here. So there's the update version right there. If I go back and see my current version. So right now I am Fire TV OS 7.7.0.2. That's the software version. Um, TV home version is 7220184.1. All right. So let's go ahead and push the update. Let's go ahead and install it. All right, so that was a pretty uh, lengthy update, took a while. Um, so hopefully we'll get the update that we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and just double check the version that we're on. And of course, we're gonna just try again to make sure that we are on the latest firmware. So click on about, you can see we are on 7704. Let's go ahead and check again. All right, so it looks like there's another update. <laughs> So again, I'll just let this go through its paces. All right, so we're back again. And again, we're gonna just double check, make sure we're good. All right, you can see now our Fire TV is up to date. And let's just go back to about. And it looks like we're on that 7704. Looked like it was just essentially finalizing the update. So as far as the update, the big push or the big excitement for this upgrade is something that we've been looking for for a long time on the Fire TV devices. And I hope that they'll roll this out to all Fire TV devices because I don't think it's such a heavy lift. So this is the ability to clear cache on all applications with a simple click of a button. And this should be now added. So let's go ahead and we'll check it out. To We're gonna go to our apps. All right, so now you see this option right here. Remember when we went there first, we only had the Silk Browser, the App Store, Auto Offload, but now we can do this. And let me show you the old way of doing this, just so you guys know. So the old way of doing this, you go to your Manage Install Apps, and then you'll find an app like 3D Mark. We'll click on it, and we'll clear cache right here. All right, you can see that went down to zero. Well, now you can do it for all applications, and again, very excited. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna clear, we're gonna clear all app cache. You're gonna get this pop-up, clear all caches. Are you sure you wanna delete caches of all applications? Deleting will free 647 megabytes of storage. Are you sure you wanna continue? So that's close to a gig. That's gonna free up a lot of space on your device. But not only that, guys, it is gonna help your device run a little bit faster. So we're gonna confirm. And now when we go back, you can see there's only 800 kilobytes. So we, we went down from 600 megabytes to 836. And I, I believe they do need a minimum amount to run um, effectively. We're gonna confirm, but let's go back in and kind of see what we have. So IDA64, that's at 16 kilobytes. 
You can see they're all around that 16 kilobyte. And I think, like I said, this is a minimum that it needs. So if I go to Amazon photo, for instance, and I just clear cache, it's gonna go to zero, but let me go back out. And I'm gonna go back in Amazon photos. You can see that 16 kilobytes is there. 16 kilobyte on the grand scheme is, is nothing. Um, but like I said, I think uh, this is a great direction as far as pushing updates for Amazon. And again, hopefully this rolls out to all devices within the Amazon ecosystem. But let me know in the comment section, is this only working for your Fire TV Cube? Um, is it only working on a third generation? Is it working on other versions or other devices altogether? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.